Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. Today I am making our dining room table. So this whole table is made out of just four by fours and two by sixes. I have down in the description box below all of the links of all the boards. I also linked down below all the tools you'll be needing. You'll be needing a mitered saw, a drill, some Gorilla Glue, putty. I linked everything down below. You'll be using two different types of screws, two different lengths. And I start by laying out all the boards and I use just this scrap piece of wood to even out the boards and um, that way I can uh, get ready to start my drilling. So I started by drilling just some holes. There is a tool that you can use to help um, keep your drill holes consistent and shallow. I just decided to freehand them. I did not care that the holes were not perfect. I just made sure that they were shallow enough where they didn't poke through the other side. Again, I didn't really care what the underneath looked like because no one was gonna see it. But I will link that tool down below in case you guys wanna use it. So I start with my Gorilla Glue after I've drilled my holes lay the board down and then start screwing. You can use clamps. Um, I wish I would have had some at the time um, to keep the boards together and tight, but I didn't. Um, again, I was kind of not really caring how perfect it looked underneath. Um, to me, that was just kind of all part of the table, um, was part of the imperfection. So if you are a perfectionist, use clamps. So same steps for all the boards, pre-drilled holes on both sides. And then I'm gonna take my Gorilla Glue, put that on the inside of the boards, and then use the screws to um, screw the boards together. So all five boards in the middle are the two by sixes and then the boards in the end, those are the four by fours. I wanted the whole table to look nice and thick. So the way I um, adhered the four by fours to the uh, two by sixes is taking my Gorilla Glue and giving it a nice generous layer on the inside. I flip my board over and then I made sure it was nice and straight. Then I took my drill, drilled the holes through the two by sixes into the four by fours, and then I just take my screws and screw it all in. And I did both sides like that. So after the tabletop is completely screwed into place, we start putting the legs together for the ends of the table. So I start with my Gorilla Glue and then the mitered cuts that I've listed below. Um, this is what they'll look like laid out. And we start by putting glue on the two mitered ends that they, the corners meet. And I do that on both sides. Then I take my drill, 
and I drill a small hole and angle it to combine and secure both of the mitered corners. And then I take one of the long screws and screw them together. Then I took some more glue and put it between the two cracks. This is what it looks like. And I did the same thing on the other side. And then this is what it looks like. The legs look like when they are completely dried. So I take the legs and flip them up with the screw holes showing on the inside. And I do the same thing, I drill from the 4 by 4s into the lake. Then I take my Gorilla Glue and fill in any cracks and um, holes along between the table and the 4 by 4s Then I take my L-shaped brackets and I use um, four on each side to safely secure the legs to the table. So I put the L brackets on both sides of the table, flipped it over, and this is what it looked like. Any kind of cracks or holes you can fill in with some wood putty, which I listed down below as well. And then I just took a sander and sanded the um, like uneven um, ridges or areas, and I decided not to stain the table, but paint it instead. And uh, it was so much easier just to paint it. <laughs> and it actually looks beautiful. Um, it turned out beautiful. So I just put in some primer on there and gave it a nice generous coat. Then I took this putty and filled in any spots. There was a low spot on one side of the table that I wanted to fill in and I just took putty with a putty knife and just filled it in and made it look like it was wood by using a paint stick to create the creases. After the putty dried, I gave it nice coats of paint, about two to three. I was using Benjamin Moore Simply White. It's one of my favorite white paints, and I hand brushed it on. Then to seal it, I used a polyacrylic in clear, and with a foam roller, I gave it about three coats on top. And then once I let it dry for about two days, I was completely done. All right, and that's how I made our dining table. Thank you guys so much for watching. It was so fun to make this table, and I've never made a dining table before, and for a little under $200, I think it turned out absolutely great. Thank you guys again for watching. Do not forget to subscribe because I put out new videos, DIY, fashion, beauty, every week, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.